Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening everybody. Welcome back to our YouTube channel and to the second instalment in the Sydney Railroad build. If you're watching last time, you will have seen me build the bench work for the lower staging yard. For this instalment, I'm going to install the roadbed, track and wiring for that same staging yard. So without further ado, let's just head out to the workshop and get busy. Well, this afternoon's job is to get the foam roadbed installed on the staging yard benchwork. I've cut some pieces. I don't think I have quite enough, but there is a new roll on order. And the method of installing these big sheets is to start by folding back the backing along one side of it a few inches, and then get that first edge lined up neatly all the way along. I use a clean paint roller to, to burnish it down, just pushing fairly hard. And then once that first edge is glued on, I can then pull the, the backing out and unroll it into the middle. I'm just going to do a few inches and then roll some more and then a few more inches, rolling out from the middle towards the outside. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Here is that first piece rolled out. Note that I deliberately cut it too wide. And then what I do is force it down with a block of scrap wood. I can't really do it with one hand while I'm holding the camera, but the trick is to get it right up in the joint and then push it down firmly. And then once I've gone all the way along, I will just run along that edge with a craft knife and cut it off. Note that I started about an inch past the joint that is because the very end of the foam doesn't have a backing sheet. So I will now cut that along the joint and then butt in the next piece at the other end. So let me just get on with this and I'll talk to you again later. Don't go away. The easiest method of getting a perfect butt joint between two pieces is to start by overlapping them Note that I put a piece of backing between them so that they don't stick together. And I've already cut through both pieces using a knife with a straight edge. Just peel that off and then the other piece peels off. And then I'm probably going to struggle to do this with one hand, but there's another piece of backing to take off there as well. So now I can burnish those edges down and it will be a virtually invisible joint. It is Wednesday morning and with most of the foam roadbed laid on the lower staging yard, I'm going to start on the track. The remaining foam will be available in a couple of days, but I can at least start laying track at this end. This first board takes a conventional straight ladder. I need eight, number eight turnouts, four left and four right hand, and the last turnout ends about here where the camera is now. Then there's about a foot of plane track before the joint. And then after that, there are four boards for a total of 28 feet of straight parallel track. I'm not expecting to get anywhere near the end today, but I'm gonna start with the ladder. In fact, I think I'm gonna start by marking out the track centers on the straight parallel section, drawing some lines and I might even put nine pieces of flex track in on the second board and work my way back from there. Anyway, let me get organized and I'll check in with you soon. Don't go away. Well, it may not look like I've done much, but I've got all the working out done. All the turnouts in this ladder are carefully positioned so they work with the best possible alignments. I glued down two pieces of track on the next board, the two outside tracks. They are spaced a plywood thickness from the edge, so just under three quarters of an inch. And the other tracks are worked out. For the most part, they're at two and a half inch on centers, although the distance between the second and third tracks is slightly more. There will be a row of legs between those two tracks. They are about two and seven eighths spacing, and there'll be three quarter inch thick plywood up between them every few feet. So plenty of room, plenty of clearance 
plenty of finger space between the trains. So anyway, the next thing to do is to get the last ties cut off each turnout so I can get the rail joiners on, then drill all the holes for the switch machine controls, and then I can glue them in. I need three short pieces of track to fill in. One there, one there, and one there. So let me get all that done, and then I can glue them down. So I will be right back. Don't go away. Well, that is all eight turnouts permanently installed. Didn't take very long once I got all the preparation done. I'm gonna go in now, get some lunch, and then by the time I come back out, that glue should be firm enough to remove the weights. And then I'll continue. Next step will be to fill in all those short curves at the end of the ladder. And then it'll just be a 28 foot straight run to the end. So don't go away, I will be right back. Well that is the first 13 feet of the staging yard laid, all nine tracks. One more foot and I'll be at the second joint. It didn't take long once I got into a rhythm, it goes quite quickly. I started off in the middle, then worked my way to the front, and then to the back three tracks, which is why all the weights are at the back. I'm just going to walk around for a couple of minutes, stretch my legs out, and then I will continue. Don't go away, I will be right back. Well, that is another eight feet done on all nine tracks. I am now at the midway point. Here is the benchwork joint. Three sections done, three sections to go. I've just started the third box of track. It's still fairly early, it's only about five o'clock, but I'm gonna go inside and work inside the rest of the day because I've got lots to do in there. So don't go away. I will check in with you tomorrow. Well, today is another track laying day. The last clip I made, I had got halfway along as far as this benchwork joint here. Today I have continued. I have done another two sections, another 14 feet, nine tracks. Taking about three hours. I can't go any further because I'm still waiting for the foam roadbed to arrive. That should be here later on today. Anyway, in addition to my normal quality control expert, I have a visitor, been watching me. Here is my mom. Say hi to Jane, or Mopsy as she is often called. She's visiting me from Upper Michigan and she's gonna be here for the winter. Anyway, it's time to go in now. I'm just gonna have to work inside this afternoon because as I mentioned, as I said earlier, I don't have any more foam rubber. So don't go away, I will check in with you again tomorrow. Well, just as I was going inside after finishing up here, the FedEx driver arrived with my foam rubber. So I have now installed the last piece and I no longer have any excuse not to finish the track laying today. So let me just go get some more turnouts and another box of track and continue where I left off. Don't go away. Well, I've now positioned the eight turnouts at this end. As you can see, it's a basic compound pinwheel ladder. I needed to make a slight adjustment with this one. There'll be a two inch curve in there, a very broad radius. I'm not even gonna measure it. It's probably in the region of 10 foot radius just to get the exit from this turnout to line up with the front two tracks. And then one track comes off here, and then there's three more pairs that come off the back three turnouts. Everything is marked. Next thing I gotta do is move out of the way and get the holes drilled for the switch machines. And then I can install them. So let me do that quickly, and I will be right back. Don't go away. All the track and turnouts for this staging yard are now laid. All the way from the end. This bit of bench work that you see is 42 feet long. 
and the shortest track is around 30 feet. The ones at the back are closer to 35. So trains around a scale half mile long, nine of them. I haven't started wiring it yet. That will be a project for a different day. In fact, it's going to be a project for more than one day. I'm going to go in now and I'm going to continue working inside. So don't go away. I will check in with you later. This morning I've been working on bus wires for the staging yard and I think I have come up with the most efficient way possible of pulling them through. I've positioned all my wire holders either side of the staging yard at the end and I've gone on the creeper and pulled the wires all the way through the holes all the way to the other end and now I will start crimping them and putting them in the terminals from this end and work my way back. That way the entire pulling through operation is done in one go. Well, you probably can't see any progress at all. If I walk the whole length of the staging yard, there is nothing to see. Although I did finish getting the switch machines hooked up this morning. So there are some temporary controls along the side. This afternoon, I've been running bus wires, 15 bus wires the whole length of the bench work. So approximately 630 feet of wire. And of course, each bus wire is in six segments. So that's 90 ends, 180 crimpers, and 180 screw terminals to do up. And of course, it's only 17 inches off the ground. So I only have 15 inches of clearance below it. So it's a lot of reaching and twisting, a lot of squats and a lot of sit-ups. So it really feels like I've had a workout today. Anyway, I have reached my target. I'm pretty happy with the progress. So I'm gonna go in now and I will come back out tomorrow. I'll check in with you then. So far this morning, I have drilled all the holes for the feeders in the parallel portion of the staging yard. I haven't done the two yard ladders yet, but I've drilled all the holes for the 30-something foot length. I've only inserted the colored feeders for the rear rail. The front rail is gonna get black wires throughout. But if I put over 100 black wires in the holes, it's gonna hide the colors. And I really don't wanna risk making a mistake. If I go all the way along the staging yard from one end to the other, only doing one rail, it will immediately draw my attention to itself if I find I have the feeder on the front rail because it will just be a different routine. Before I continue, I'm going to vacuum out all the sawdust and all the other debris so that I don't get in the solder joints. And then I'm going to work my way systematically from one end to the other, doing all the colored joints. And at the same time, I'm going to bond the rail joiners on all the short sections. Because I have seven foot boards, there are 36 one foot lengths of track, which I'm gonna bond permanently to the adjacent full length. So that'll be a four foot section instead of a three footer. That's a lot quicker than adding a whole extra set of feeders on all 36 short pieces of track. Anyway, without further waffling, I'm just gonna get back to work. I'll check in with you later, so don't go away. Well, I have just gone the whole length of the staging yard and I have soldered up all the feeders. Of course, it's only a small part of the job because it's only one rail. So that means it's only half the feeders. And I also haven't done either ladder, so it's fewer than half the feeders. And of course, I've only soldered the top ends of the feeders. I haven't got underneath and hooked up the bottom yet. So it's less than a half of less than a half of the job. So not much at all. Anyway, I'm going to get back to work now. I've just finished stretching my legs, straightening up a bit. I'll let you know how far I get today. I don't think I'll finish it. So don't go away. I will check in with you later. Well, I have now installed all the feeders and solder the top ends of the rail all the way along. And I have got the bottom ends done about halfway. 
I'll crouch down here. You can see loads of wires hanging down at that end. And if I pan back again, there are no wires hanging down at that end. I've had enough flying on my back for this afternoon, so I'm going to go inside and get on with something else. So don't go away. I will see you again tomorrow. Well, I have now finished hooking up all the feeders at both ends. If we look underneath, there are no wires hanging down. But we can see they are all nice and neatly hooked up to the bus wires. I haven't done the two yard ladders yet. The next thing I want to do is get the BDL 168 occupancy detection board installed. Now the wiring I'm going to do for that now is only going to be temporary. I'm going to have to redo it when I build the control panels because instead of going directly from that board to the bus wires, I will be going via a switch on the control panel to allow for isolation of each individual track. That's important for staging yards, especially large ones, because you really don't want to have all the sound systems going off continually. So you want to be able to isolate trains that we're not currently using. I'm going to mount it up here somewhere above the bench work, but I need to figure out exactly where the wires can go through on the staging yard above, because the control panel will be between the second and third levels. And since the staging yard above it is much larger than this one, I need to make sure that I put it in a convenient place where I can get wires through. And there's gonna be a lot of wires. So I'm gonna go in, check the plans and work that out. I may or may not come out again this afternoon it is Christmas Day. I don't necessarily want to work out here all day. So let me go figure out the next step and I'll be right back. Don't go away. Well, that's all for this installment. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it useful or interesting, or both. In the next installment of this series, I plan to present a design for a control panel. And I hope to see you back here for that. So until then, thanks for watching, and bye for now.